Hola, hola, estudiantes de Power Unified School District. Bienvenidos a otra clase de español. Hello, hello, students of Power Unified School District, and welcome back to your Spanish class. If you don't remember, my name is Señorita Kim. I am your maestra, Señorita Kim. Today, we get to talk about something super special. Today, we're going to talk all about food, or in Spanish, you could say comida. I am so excited to talk about food today because we all know that food culture is such an important part about learning about a new place or new language. So let's get started. The thing is, there are so many Spanish-speaking countries in the world. Remember this picture? We already learned that, that there are over 20 countries that use Spanish as an official language. Do you think all of these countries eat the same foods, have the same cultures, and have the same traditions? Absolutely not. Each country has their own culture, has their own traditional foods, so it's a little bit hard to talk about all of these countries all at once. So instead of that, we're just going to pick one country to visit today to get to know this one country's food traditions and take a closer look. Today, we will be visiting the first country on our flag list. We are traveling to Argentina. Put your seatbelt on. We need to board a plane to go to Argentina. So here we are in San Diego, as you can see. Here's Poway, and most of our schools are somewhere right in here. So we need to travel all the way from San Diego to Argentina. It's a long trip. Get ready. Here we go. different continent. There's Argentina, this large long country here. Let's zoom in. The capital city of Argentina is Buenos Aires. We've made it to Argentina. Welcome to the land of Argentina. Messi, El Asado, Patagonia, and the land of El Mate. These are six things that really represent Argentina. You've probably seen Messi or have heard of the soccer player Messi before. And you can probably guess what an asado is based on this picture. Maybe you know that Patagonia is a region with beautiful mountains. And we just saw the map of Argentina. But what is this? El Mate. Any ideas as to what that might be? What is mate? Well, before we get into that, here are a few photos. There's Messi drinking mate. Here is the Pope, Pope Francis, drinking mate also. And perhaps the most famous of all, Señorita Kim drinking mate on a mountain. As you've probably guessed by now, mate is a type of drink. Most importantly, usually mate is a social drink. You can drink it on your own if you want, but more often than not, it's a traditional drink that is shared with family, or friends. It's a social thing. So mate is kind of like a tea. You do have to put some leaves called yerba inside of the mate and you pour hot water inside and you drink it hot. It can be served cold but usually it's hot and you sip the tea like water through what is called a bombilla, a straw. So how does it work when it's a social drink? Well, let's check this out. Let's imagine that this group of friends is at a park, enjoying themselves and sharing some mate. This woman here has a thermos full of hot water. 
she's going to be the one to prepare the mate. And because she's prepared the mate, she's going to be the one to pass it to her friends one by one. So, she'll pass it to her friend here. He will get a chance to drink the mate. And once he sipped all of the hot water in the mate, he will return the mate back to the person who served it to him. She now has to pour the hot water from the thermos into the mate once more and refill the water so that she can pass it to her next friend whose turn it is to drink the mate. Delicious. Once this friend is finished drinking his mate, he will pass it back. More water will be put into the mate. And the mate continues to go around. So what if you don't want any more mate? Let's say that this woman with the glasses has had a lot of mate and she no longer wants any more. All she has to say is, gracias. Do you remember what that means? It means thank you. That's the polite way of letting her know she no longer wants any more. So now that we know what mate is and how we serve it, let's learn about how we can prepare the perfect mate. Like a true Argentinian, we need three things. We need a bombilla, the name for the special straw used to drink mate in Argentina. Bombilla. We need sherba, which is like the tea leaves that kind of go inside. And we need a mate. How to prepare the perfect mate, like a true Argentinian. Acompáñame a preparar el mate perfecto en un minuto. Primero llenamos el mate tres cuartos con hierba, obviamente le quitamos el polvo de las dos formas o agitándolo, golpeando la parte de la base contra la mesada o si no tapamos la boca del mate y lo agitamos un poquito. Ubicamos toda la hierba de un lado y del lado descubierto empezamos a echar ya agua a temperatura mate. Lo que tenemos que hacer ahora es esperar un ratito nada más para que absorba ese agua y luego recién ahí empezar a ubicar nuestra bomba bombilla y lo importante de ubicar la bombilla es tapar el pico de la misma para que no se tape y ahora sí papá acomodas un poquito la pared con la mano y demás y vas a disfrutar de estos mates que mira cómo salen espumosos y extraordinarios si te gusta nuestro contenido te invito a que nos sigas en nuestras redes sociales pero sobre todo las recomendaciones que nos sigas en nuestro canal de youtube donde nos encontrás como mate del mar abrazo y a matear So by now you're probably thinking, okay, Senorita Kim, we get it. El mate is really important to the Argentinian culture. It's one of the most popular drinks. But what about the food? What does Argentina like to eat? When I think of Argentina, this is what comes to mind. Un asado. What is an asado? Try to guess based on the following pictures. Any guesses as to what an asado is and why it might be important? If you said that an asado is probably a big barbecue with your family or friends, you are absolutely correct. It's such an important part of their culture. Just like with mate, which is a social drink, an asado is oftentimes very social in Argentina as well. Usually when you're having an asado or an Argentinian barbecue, You're inviting your family, you're inviting your friends, and you get to spend time eating over the food that you've just cooked together. Here's what an asado might look like. Justo. Tres menos diez. Salen los cortes de rápida cocción. En diez, quince minutos. Quizás 20, dependiendo del hambre que tenga la gente, esto lo podemos dar vuelta y dejarlo reposar un rato. Sacamos la escotilla del vacío. Mm, buen San Antonio.
So what do you think? Are you hungry yet? I am. Here's something interesting though. I noticed something in common between how people eat an asado and how people drink mate in Argentina. What about you? Did you notice anything in common? If you said something about community or sharing with your family and friends, you're absolutely correct. The food culture is so closely tied to their community culture. Food is shared. Mate is shared. And being with your family and friends, it's such an important part of Argentinian culture. Great job. So now it's our turn to get to practice some of these words. In a typical asado, you might find some of these things. Today we're going to learn the words in Spanish. You might find queso, el queso. You also will definitely find different types of carne, la carne. You'll probably also see pan, el pan. And sometimes people will season their carne with sal. Repeat the words after me. El queso. La carne. El pan, la sal. Good job. Please get ready to help us prepare for an asado of our own. Welcome to your very first asado. We are going to cook together. Here I am with my grill ready, mi parrilla, as they say in Argentina, and I need a bit of your help to make sure this asado is a success. Ready? Here's what you're gonna see. Senorita Kim will be asking for an ingredient. Here I say, quiero el pan. Do you remember what that means from a previous lesson? We learned what quiero means. Quiero means I want. So here I'm saying, I want the bread. Quiero al pan. You will see four different pictures. I need to decide which is the item I am looking for for my asado. Ready? Here's your last chance to practice the words you'll need. El queso, la carne, el pan, la sal. Take a moment, and if you need, you can pause the video to practice these words. If you're ready, let's keep going. Our asado is beginning. Quiero el queso. What is it that I'm looking for? Quiero el queso. Did you say that I'm looking for the cheese? If you selected the picture of the cheese, great job, you're correct. I want the cheese. Let's keep going. Quiero el pan. Quiero el pan. Which item am I looking for? Did you say I'm looking for the bread? If so, great job. Let's move on. Quiero la carne. Quiero la carne. La carne is the meat. The beef. Quiero la sal. La sal 
is the salt. Quiero el queso y la carne. Ooh. This one is a little bit harder. Quiero el queso y la carne. I wonder if you remember what E means. Quiero el queso y la carne. I'm looking for two different things. El queso y la carne. Did you pick these two here? El queso y la carne. It's getting a little trickier. Help me out. Quiero el pan y la sal. Quiero el pan y la sal. Here is el pan and la sal. El pan y la sal. Great job! We had a successful first Argentinian asado and we are full. Thanks so much for helping me prepare that. I had so much fun exploring the food culture of Argentina with you guys, but unfortunately, it's time for us to take our flights back to San Diego. So here we are in Argentina, and it looks like we've got to go back to Power Unified School District. Let's go to San Diego Airport. Head back home. Put on your seatbelts. We're flying back to the U.S. Thanks for such a fun trip to Argentina. Maybe soon you'll get to try mate and an asado on your own. We'll end today's lesson with quiz time. Question number one. What is the name of this Argentinian barbecue? Is it called el mate, una fresa, el queso, or el asado. The correct answer is el asado. Question two. Which of the following or what is not needed for making a mate? Agua. El queso, sherba, o una bombilla. What do you not need for mate? Correct answer is el queso. We do not need cheese to drink mate. Question three. What is the word for cheese? Is it la sal, la carne, el pan, or el queso? Correct answer is queso. And here's the last question of the day. What is the word for bread? Mate, sal, pan, queso. The correct answer is pan. Thanks so much for joining us. Adiós amigos de PUSD, nos vemos la próxima vez. Hasta pronto. Adiós a Cosmo, adiós a Luke, adiós a Wen, volveremos a cantar. Adiós Lucía, adiós a la maestra, adiós a los niños, volveremos a cantar.